Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Today we'll talk about uh, something about After Effects and uh, we'll try to cover few of the projects from start to finish For example we start with a new composition we come here and we come to the composition panel and create new composition and we make sure it's uh, 25 frames per second and uh, for example 20 seconds long okay so I need uh, some text so I will come here and create a text uh, and I will write Pakistan for example and I make this, this text little bit bigger and uh, come here and uh, align it to the middle of the composition now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight letters in this text. I want to uh, animate them one by one, uh, giving a effect of a growing uh, outlines. So what I need to do is first I will come and create it into shapes. How we will create text into shapes? We go to the layer panel and create shapes from text okay so what it will do is it will create uh, it will duplicate your text layer and hide it and create a new shape layer and when you come here and open this one you can see each letter is actually a separate shape so what I will do now is uh, first I do not need a fill in this scene I need a stroke so what I will do, I will select my shape layer and just click this fill button and press this button none. Okay. And then I press stroke, click stroke here and I will give it a stroke. I will just switch on this button, fill of the stroke. And then I will change this color to, for example, green. And now what I will do, I will just increase the stroke a little bit, for example, five. So now we have a text which is written in which is actually in shapes and each letter is in different shape form so now what I will do is I will duplicate this layer eight times so I want each uh, shape of the text on the separate layer so what I will do is I will just uh, duplicate this eight times one two three four five six seven eight and now I will select this one first one and call it P and what I will come and I will delete everything inside and only keep the P then I come to the second one I click this button which is actually making the text layer solo so now only this layer is visible I come here and delete P and everything else and only keep A and I will keep call this layer A okay I just pressed enter I select the layer and press enter and then it gives you option to write the layer name so I call it a so my each layer has one shape in this one in it I will switch on the layer properties I will go to the select the contents and select my letter and below if I come here and see I have fill stroke merge paths because if you come close to the P I just click control plus zooming in control plus is the shortcut for zoom in and zoom out control plus is zoom in and control minus for windows and for Mac command plus and command minus so now you can see there are two strokes one is this if I select the upper one you can see the outside one is highlighted and when I sel select the lower one this inside one is selected so what I want is I want to add trim paths to it so that I can animate the stroke of it so what I will do is I will click this add button uh, arrow just next to the add button and I will add trim paths now if I come here below I will switch on uh, I will uh, I will see all the properties of frame parts and I will see now 
you can see that if there, there are three options one is start and offset okay start is actually the starting point and end is the actually the ending point so what I will do is I will try to animate both of them so I will add keyframes to both of them in the beginning and I put 50 and 50 values so it disappears completely and I go to move to the for example 20 frames okay how I move 20 frames I press shift and page down so it moves 10 frames and then I press again shift and page down and it moves another 10 frames and then when I reach to the end I will make the start point 0 and the end point 100 so now my P is complete so when I just uh, and I will make them ease in and ease out by pressing F9 so I will press uh, preview 0 how you will preview is just press 0 button on your uh, numeric keypad and you can see the animation is it is animated so I believe it is little fast so I will just move it the end keyframes to the one second so now you can see it's animating the text uh, I can make it more slow for example let's make it two frame two seconds yeah I think this is fine okay so what I will do now is I will just come here select trim path start and control C and I will just come and pu put paste on each of my layer and I will just again make it fi fit up to fit and I will just control and V now on each and every layer okay so now I will select all of them and press U so you can see all of my layers has the animation and if I will press now 0 you can see they are animating in, in a nice way okay so what I will do now is I will press you again so it means uh, hides the keyframes and uh, I will delay them now so for example each 10 frames I will delay the layers so I go into the beginning press sh shift and page down and then I will move 10 frames and I will delay my all the layers and then again I press shift and 10 frame and then I will select remaining and press press this bracket button bracket button is the square bracket button is a shortcut for um, bringing all the layers to the selected uh, keyframes and then press again shift and uh, shift and page down and then bracket okay and then again move 10 frames so similarly I'm just dealing all the layers 10 frames so every second layer is delayed to the 10 frames so now if I will uh, animate so you can see that this is a nice animation okay now one more how can I make it more interesting so this is the, actually the outline we have we want to make it fill also so what we we'll do first we select all our layers and I call it layer and pre comp it and I call it text underscore outline and don't forget to save your file I will just save it on the desktop and call it uh, text outline now we have this animation actually which is pre comp so if we want to change anything we just select our pre comp and double click we go inside that one so our this composition is called text outline and the outside is this is called cow comp one we can rename it by going here composition composition setting and rename this one for example uh, title animation now I can make it more interesting by duplicating this one and I delete it more 20 frames for example okay 
and I change the below layer color to for example red so now if I will play animation you can see now first it is red and then and the color is coming in so in this way you can add as many colors as you want to make it look more interesting so for example you just duplicate this one again and delete and uh, you delay this one less okay and add there uh, for example white girl white or whatever orange color so now you see a complex animation somehow now we want to fill this object also so what we will do is uh, we go to our project from here and duplicate our text outline which is this one we duplicate this one and call this one text underscore fill just remember to rename your layer it is very important to rename la your layers because it will make your uh, project workflow very easy uh, easy to understand and it is very fast to work on it so it, it is a good habit to develop in the beginning to name every e every layer and every composition so now this is text fill so we just duplicate this one and we'll make changes in it so what we'll do is first of all we do not want trim paths at all so first of all we select all of them go into the beginning and press the back bracket button again left bracket so it will bring all your layers to the right side and then I go into each one and I need to delete the trim paths okay I press U to just hide everything so now there is no animation and in it I do not want now I do not want a stroke in it I want to fill it so I will click click this stroke button make it none and I will click fill and give a fill color and give a fill color of for example blue yeah so now how I will animate this one so one option is you can use some of the transitions for example you can use CC uh, what is interesting for example CC jaws okay so in this case you need to bring this one to the center so you select complete uh, center button and select this option and bring it into center okay center of the layer and now animate this one and make me a little bit below so what we'll do is in the beginning of course it has to be 100 plus uh, we'll see where it disappears completely completion and add a keyframe and go to the one second and other keyframe make it zero press u select both of them right click keyframe assistant and easy ease in so now we see it is animating like this okay you can change uh, you can change the options for example you can make it robo joe you can make it block or whatever so what I will do now is uh, I will go in the beginning and I need to make this one hundred percent okay so what I will do now is I will select my jaws and I will select my completion and just same way duplicate duplicate on each and every layer but there is a problem in this because this layer also has one more feature which is called the center this affects CC jaw so I want every object to be the center according to its position when I select uh, this layer I will select the effect and I will select this button which is called center and bring this animation into the center 
so now animation each and every layer has its its own shape and its own position so it will be centralized according to that layer so I will select this layer the next letter and go to the center and just bring it to the center okay similar way select next layer center and bring this to the center next all similar okay and uh, this to this now let's press 0 and see it's animating same way we delay this one for example the next 10 frames delay then 20 frames same step we will delay the animation and uh, select each layer individually okay so now we go to the main title animation and see we have this one uh, what we can do is we just select this text field bring it on top of it and uh, we just to dis because all the layers have same color so we just to distinguish between each layer we change the color of this layer this is just the visual display and we delay this one for example one and we bring it into below the layer because outline is covering that layer so now you can see you have multiple effect okay so this is how you create uh, some nice text animation using the lines and the shapes